Q, it is day seven now in the murder trial for Letitia Stauk. She's the woman accused of killing her stepson Gannon in 2020. Today, jurors heard more about why Letitia lied to detectives early on in the investigation. News 5's Ashley Portillo has been following this trial since it started last week. She has the latest tonight from the El Paso County Courthouse. Today, jurors inside the courtroom heard phone calls and face times and also watched a five hour long interview between Letitia Stauk and detectives. One former detective testified saying Letitia changed her story several times about what happened to Gannon, which influenced how they proceeded with the case. She also said Letitia was hesitant to talk to detectives at first. During a recorded phone conversation between that detective and Letitia, the detective continued to ask for information about Gannon. The detective then testified saying Letitia seemed angry, but she didn't know why. And during that five hour long interview, Letitia was also asked to tell them again about what happened the day before Gannon's disappearance and the day of. That's when Letitia opened up about being sexually assaulted by a man who was inside her home and was supposed to be fixing the carpet downstairs. This was the same carpet that Letitia said caught on fire the day before when Gannon knocked over a candle. A fire started and he was accidentally burned. Now Letitia said she blacked out during that assault and when she came to light, Gannon was gone. I did lie. I did. When they came, I did say, get a lift, whatever. You know that. Mm -hmm. He never did. He never left. During that hours long interview at the El Paso County Sheriff's Office, Letitia eventually asked to leave. Detectives then told her after they learned about the assault, she couldn't leave yet because she had evidence on her body. And we'll finish watching that video on Friday morning. Now, the trial will not be happening tomorrow morning on Thursday. That's because the judge has other obligations that he needs to take care of. That trial will resume at 9 o'clock in the morning on Friday. Of course, I will be here bringing you the latest and most up-to-date information in this case. Reporting in Colorado Springs, I'm Ashley Portillo for News 5.